Just finished a Slay the Spire stream. New game to me and fun to play. Yo, Slay the Spire is a lot of fun. I've played a lot of Slay the Spire, actually. I think I've got, like, over 200 hours in that game. I did, like, three videos of it on my channel just when I was, like, in between games and I needed something to upload. It was pretty fun. It's a fun game. I'm not great at it, but... I mean, I got... I don't think I ever... I never beat Ascension 19, but I got up to, like, Ascension 16 on the Defect and on, uh... On the Silent, and then I got to Ascension 19 on the other guy, whatever his name is. The Ironclad. I got to 19 on the Ironclad. It's a really it's a really fun game. Would highly recommend looking into it, anyone in chat that hasn't seen it before. It's like a card game roguelite. A lot of fun. I think they, uh, I think they're supposed to have a fourth character released in the near future. I'm gonna keep Golem. I think they're releasing a new character not too long from now. Is what I heard in the next couple of weeks, sometime next month, I think. I'm looking forward to that, because maybe it'll get me back into playing it some more, because I haven't played it in a hot minute. Laptop charger stopped working, had to buy a new one. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. Well, at least you got one now. I've had that happen before. It's very annoying. Back when I used to not even have a desktop. Well, I, I had a desktop, but it sucked. I had, like, a really good laptop, though, back in the day. And then its charger broke for a bit. How do all these springy leaves grow here? Uh, I don't need Victory Bell. We caught a Victory Bell already. I did catch... Yeah, I caught one of you already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have Shadow of Almia, but I'm far behind you right now. Well, you know. I only play it once a week, so you can easily catch up whenever you need to. A lot of fertilizer. You would not believe the amount of cow manure that has gone into keeping this place in tip-top shape. It is ridiculous. Yo, I bet I need the Sand Slash. You will be mine. Also, I've never caught one of you be before, so I definitely need you either way. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, 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 get it. He's done it. Streaming for my Xbox is a pain. Twitch seems to not want to work every now and then. I've never tried streaming, like, straight from one of my consoles, but I imagine it's not as smooth as, like, using Streamlabs. I didn't realize you could just stream from your Xbox. I know that you can stream from your PS4 onto Twitch because I've heard about people doing it before, but I got a capture card and all that, so I've never had to try. Dig that up for me, Sandslash. I believe in you. Look at him go. Well done, my little friend. Haven't played Pokemon Rangers since you were five. Madness. They're good games. You should pick them back up. And I remember... Oh, yo, we gotta catch a clay doll. And we gotta catch a Gengar. Let's go. I don't remember how long the Hippowdon Temple is, but I don't think it takes that long to get through. So, depending on how long it takes us to go through, we might have some time to do some more, uh... Do some more side quests before we wrap up stream today. That's really annoying. Really wish you hadn't have done that. Alright, I did not realize when I challenged this clay doll that it's like one of the most annoying Pokemon of all time to catch. I also didn't think that he'd do a shockwave move there. Never played a ranger game, but should look into it, I think. Dude, totally. The first ranger game is like, eh, it's okay. The gameplay isn't very well refined because instead of health bars, you have to like do a certain number of loops without ever stopping the loop. It can be pretty annoying sometimes. But it's still an okay game. I did not want to fight you. I want to fight the Gengar. But the second and third game are, like, leagues better. It's insane how well, like... Because the first Pokemon Ranger game is still a fine game, but it's insane how well they improved into the second and third game. Can I... Can I please just fight the Gengar? Like, please. Like, that's all I want, is just to get this Gengar. Please? I swear if this is the clay doll. Ah! I don't want to catch this thing because it's annoying to catch. I just want the Gengar. Please give me the Gengar. Thank you. Finally. Don't you teleport away from me, mister. Whoa. I don't think that should have hit me, but whatever. Thanks, hitboxes. That one should have hit me. That one as well, but I'm mad about it. Okay. I didn't realize- I didn't realize Gengar was also the most annoying Pokemon of all time. Maybe I don't want to catch any of these things. 
that time he didn't do the purple fire attack for the first time ever. I don't want to talk about this. I'm really mad about this entire room in general. Please. Just free me from the suffering. Okay. Get me out of here. How close am I to a level up? Because I need one now. Uh, still a bit away. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Magneton, hey, I actually need your help. I am low on HP. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. There we go. All right, this should heal us at least like 20 HP or something. Level 5 recharge? Nah, that should be like a 30 or a 40 heal. That'll do. Heal me up. 50. Nice. All right, well, everything is fixed now. Goodbye, Magneton. Just finished Tokyo Mirage. Song they were singing before the boss fight was classic. They sing a lot of songs before boss fights. Yo, how did... Who invented this? These elevators existed back whenever this temple was made? It's madness. What is... Oh, okay. I don't understand this puzzle, but whatever. Uh, hello? Oh, dear. Okay. All right. I don't understand the graham cracker puzzle we have going on here, but whatever. Oh, okay. I was walking on air for a second there. I'll take it. I actually want some graham crackers now. Mostly I just want, like, something to eat. Thank you. Why didn't I just go? Am I stupid? Ah! This is fine. Please. Please. Thank you. All right, goodbye. I was standing on air. Oh, no! It's Giovanni's gym! Now you're making me hungry? You know how I feel usually in chat now. I have no idea how many times chat is just like, Hey, everyone, let's just talk about food to make Chaos hungry when he can't go get food. Now you know my pain. Yo, also, there's a Banette and a, uh... A Gabite we gotta catch here, because I don't have any of those yet. Don't have those bad boys registered. We gotta get on that. What are you doing? Okay, I'd rather you do this than the one Gengar does, to be honest. That as well is fun. I was really hoping I would capture you there, but I wasn't fast enough. Just trying to make sure you don't recover here mainly, and as soon as that's gone, you're done. There we go. How about six hours today? Nah, I don't have that kind of time. I gotta get some classwork done tonight. I have to get some classwork done, and I want to play a little more Three Houses, and I also want to watch some anime. I'm like two episodes behind on Demon Slayer, and I'm an episode behind on Fruits Basket. Uh, we actually, uh, I got in my call the other day with, uh, Sly, RTK, and Michael, and we watched, uh, the reveal of the sixth coffin in Naruto Shippuden, which was great. Because Michael, right before it happened, said, what if it's just a second Madara Uchiha, and then haha. And then later on, when he did the meteor thing, uh, after they stopped the first meteor, Slyro was like, and now they drop a second meteor, and everyone laughed, and then it happened, and it was great. It was, uh, one of my favorite moments. Both in the show and being in call with my friends, because it was just amazing. But anyways, they're gonna be... We've actually, like, set up a, a timetable for them reading Naruto, and they're gonna be done on the 5th of September. They'll both read the last chapter on the 5th before we have a call that day. So I'm wanting to finish some anime before then. If you had to choose between GTA or Kingdom Hearts 3, what would you choose? Easily Kingdom Hearts 3. And before any of you think, like, well, obviously, you've never played GTA. I have played GTA 5. I actually played a good bit of it with uh, Lone Wolf, who's in chat here. And then our other friends who I haven't talked to in a long time, Joey and Jet, played a good amount of GTA 5. It's a pretty fun game, but I definitely prefer Kingdom Hearts 3. Absolutely. I don't think I even need this Espeon, but I'm going to catch it anyways because we don't have it registered. And also, I love Espeon. This is my second favorite evolution. I hate this, though. I'll tell you that much. That's like a really annoying move right there. So is that. Like, you're just full of them, aren't you? Just nothing but annoying moves. There we go. When you say last chapter, did you tell them 699 was the last one? Or are they going to read the mistake, too? No, they'll read 700. I did tell them, like, they were like, what's the perfect way to, like, read Naruto? I don't remember. We said something about, like, we were talking about how the anime is, like, fine, but it has a lot of issues with the way, like, the anime is dragged out and the filler that's all in it. So I was like, the best way to 
to do Naruto is to read the manga. And then I said, well, actually, the best way is to read to chapter 699 and then spontaneously die of a heart attack so you don't have to read 700. There is a freaking T-Tar in here! Who put this in here? Yo, Machamp, I love you, man. You put in so much work following us around, ready to snap next. It's finally time for you to make your play. To help us get this T-Tar. Look at the power of Machamp coming through! Whoa, that's a hyper beam. My man Machamp, he did his duty to the last day. Now Tyranitar shall carry on his legacy. Look at that experience! Holy cow! Easy level up. Another five power, thank you. Someone has supposedly leaked the plot of Rise of the Skywalker. I give up on the series if what I saw is true. Oh no. Makes me glad that I don't care about, uh... I don't care about, um... Star Wars that much. No, wait, this is where I came from. Where am I trying to get to? I got the... I got... I thought that the Titar room was, like, where I was supposed to end up, but there was nothing else in there, right? Where do I need to end up? I actually don't know. I went to the Espeon room. I went into the Titar room. I gotta go this way. Then go here. I don't mind puzzles like this. Some of you might be thinking, like, I know Chaos hates Ice Walk puzzles. I bet he hates this puzzle, too. Is there nothing? There's nothing I can do here, huh? I think this is where Regigigas spawns. I don't remember. But no, Ice Walk puzzles, like, is a little similar to this, but there's a distinct difference. I don't mind puzzles like this as long as I know where I'm trying to end up. But I don't know where I'm trying to get to right now. Is this it? This was the T-Tar room. There's another doorway on my right. I need the other doorway on my right. That's what I need. So I gotta get to the other doorway on the right. Okay, see, now I know where I'm going. I'm in. Hacker voice. Ice physics are awful. Specifically, ice walk puzzles. Like, it's one thing when it's the ice and you, like, slip and slide on it. But it's even worse when it's, like, the, hey, you step on a panel and it just, like, throws you ahead so many panels. It, like, sends you straight to the edge and then you have to turn and et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, ice walk puzzles are my least favorite puzzle in video games ever. Actually, I already gave up on Star Wars. I'm just becoming more saddened as my favorite series gets worse and worse. They announced there were... Didn't they announce that Ewan McGregor is coming back as uh, Obi-Wan for a Disney Plus series? That could be good, maybe. Hello there. Apparently, they're doing some Mandalorian thing. Richie was tweeting about it on Twitter. He was like, yo, I'm pumped. And I was like, man, he really loves Star Wars. I don't understand how he does it. <laughs> He probably thinks the same thing about me about anime, though, so, you know, that's fair. Good job, T-Tar. You fulfilled uh, the champ's role well. Not down I go. I totally forgot that they did this part where you just fall infinitely and then somehow don't break your legs. Thank goodness I have actual steel leg. Actual steel leg. <laughs> There we go. Alright, we made it to the end, actually. Voicemail, voicemail, this is Rhythmy. I'm getting indication there's a tough Pokemon ahead. Are you prepared for it? Always. Let's get it, boys. This music. It's the Crescent Moon. I wonder what Pokemon could possibly be protecting it. It's the spirit of Machamp that saved your legs. He flexed his mind to break your fall. Can always count on Machamp. Alright, thankfully, I don't remember exactly how Cresselia works as a boss, but I know it's ten times easier than Heatran. Heatran is, like, one of the worst bosses in the game, so we should have no trouble now. Let's do this, Cresselia. It's on. They make Heatran seem, like, really large in this game, like, larger than I thought it would be. I always thought Heatran was, like, probably about the size of Cresselia. In this game, he's, like, twice Cresselia's size. Gem Guardian Cresselia. All right. We want to try and be careful here, because if we don't get hit at all, we get, like, an extra 500 EXP, which I'm super down for. But I don't really remember the boss patterns here, so we'll see what happens. Oh, that's right. I think Cresselia just has these orbs. Yep, Cresselia does this garbage. 
Oh, never mind. It wears off. I thought that the orb was going to stay around Cresselia the whole time. The one going around the perimeter might stay the whole time, though. I don't remember. But I thought that first orb was going to stay around Cresselia the whole time. That would have been majorly annoying. I can't really hit you where you are right now. There we go. Just getting that one hit in is really good to stop, uh, stop Cresselia from healing. Oh, what is this? Okay, it's just another perimeter orb. That's fine. Yeah, perimeter thing, this isn't nearly as bad as, uh, as Heatran. This is way better. Just gotta be a little careful. It just means the screen is a little bit smaller than before. Don't get hit. You've done so well so far. I did not think you would make three perimeter orbs, but that's okay. This last one isn't on the perimeter, though. It's a little more annoying, but that's fine. This is the really hard part. I'm probably just going to have to let you regen some health here, to be honest. I don't really know when I'm going to be able to make a loop until that orb is gone from around you. That's fine. I let it heal a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, this is not fine, though, because now it's healing more. I'm so stupid. I shouldn't have gotten hit there. I'm mad at myself. I was like, you're letting it heal too much, when in reality I should have just let it heal and then dealt with it. Should have never been hit there. What a, what a dumb play. Now I'm playing sloppy because I don't care because I shouldn't have got hit again either. Whatever. I shouldn't have been hit there once, let alone twice. Whatever. We're doing fine on levels anyway. It's not like we're hurting for experience. But I mean, losing 500 experience because I got hit when I shouldn't have does hurt, though. Whatever. Still got about 40 minutes. If I stop at four hours, even. All right. We'll see what we'll, what we're doing when, like, four hours rolls around, and then I'll decide if I'm going to stop at four hours or not. Because I am getting a little hungry. Yo, yellow gym, though. You obtained the yellow gym. Man, I wish I hadn't gotten hit there. Whatever. But where is Keith? Hopefully dead in a ditch somewhere. Like, under all the sand. Why is that little light beam gotta be so far away? Haven't I done enough walking already? How did you get a helicopter down here? I thought that we were underground. Are we not underground? Oh, hey. Hoi, Solo. Hoi? Tem? Is that you? <laughs> nice work. You get the yellow gym. Very good going. Although, very dumb it was for you following silly vice mail all long way out here to this big Haruba desert. I mean, I did that anyways. It had nothing to do with you. I imitating Keith good, yes. Mimic him good like he was me, right? No, you're actually the stupidest person I've ever seen in my life. But too bad for you, Team Dim Sun, I am belonging to. But more, 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 I'm one of Boss's favorites, the Sinistrio. Why? Can you, like, speak normally, please? My name, it is Heath, not Keith Heat. How you like that? I don't care. Your pose is also idiotic. You try and flex your little noodle arms. First, I think to myself, get the yellow gym myself, I will. But there be a Pokemon, Cresselia, being guardian to that rock. Then along come a ranger, kind of happy, kind of go lucky. Surprise, surprise, he tried to capturing that Cresselia. Yeah, I, I was there, I just did that. I think to myself, good chance for me, he capturing Pokemon, I getting rock. Oh, you're talking about Keith. Yeah, he's he is no good, he's a failure, you're right. But that ranger Keith, he no good, failure capturing Cresselia. Irritating to see it make me, but then flash, I have inspiration come to me. Rumors I am hearing of a very skillful ranger named Solo. That's me. I think to myself, real and solo, I will do with friendo Keith, act as bait. That was a horrible mistake because I hate Keith. I would have come here on my own anyways. So I send you fake vice mail. Ha ha ha. So now you understand the yellow gym you give me now? Of course I am fair. I trade you something for rock. Like money? I'll take money. I give you your friend, quite important. I take yellow gym. Fair deal. No. Actually not. Like, I'll give you the yellow gym if you have your guy lift Keith up and chop his head off with the helicopter blades. Otherwise, if you're giving him to me alive, I don't want him. Solo, don't do it. Don't give it to him. Oh, I don't want to. Silly Keith may be brave, but smart not so much. Yellow Jim for blue face Keith. You make trade. Yes, no. Oh, you not care about Keith? No, not at all. Not a very good friend. No, not a friend at period. Like, actually trash. I wouldn't even call him my acquaintance. Like Chad said, he is an annoyance at best. I ask again. 
Yellow gym for blue face Keith. You make trade? Yes. No. No. No make trade. No trade make. Trade no mo. Absolutely not. You know, just take the stupid gym because I honestly am starting to hate you more than Keith because of how annoying you are. Ah, very well. Smart as you're deciding. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. Okay, you take Keith back. You know, drop him. No, please keep him. Please keep him. Catch. I give you bonus too. Generous of me. Yes. Catch. Oh, I totally forgot you get to fight Magnazone here. Yo, but please take Keith back. Cat of Calamity, welcome to stream. I actually have a game recommendation, Nier Automata. I've already played Nier Automata. I streamed it. Solo! Oh no! I mean, what, what's your problem? Just catch the Magnazone. This isn't a threat at all. Yeah, exactly. How about I take the gym and they keep Keith? I like that deal better. But yeah, I've already done Nier Automata. I streamed it, and it's on YouTube. I only did the first route, though. A bunch of people got mad at me for not playing the other two, but I didn't want to. That was dumb of me. What are you doing? What is this? All right, that's not, that's not bueno. That's not bueno at all. I want to make up for not getting a no damage kill or a no damage catch on Cresselia by doing it with Magnazone here if I can. But I also do not remember Magnazone's uh, pattern at all. Dang it. Well, there goes that. Now I can stop being careful and just play stupid. Because I made a single mistake. What am I, a speedrunner? But that reminds me, I still want to try and speedrun SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom at some point. I just haven't had the time. Dang it! I always think he's going to do the the lightning orb move when he does this stupid static shock move, and it gets me every time. And by every time, I mean literally twice. That one was just me throwing caution to the wind because I don't care at this point. I've taken so much damage anyway. Now, see, this time it was the lightning orb. Dang it! Every time... Whatever, we got him. At least Magnuson does have Magnet <laughs> Rise. Yeah. Oh, that brings back memories. Easy victory, though. Look at all that experience. Still got a level up out of it. I'll take that. Level 34, boys. Plus 5 energy. Thank you. Or power, I mean. Plus 2 energy. Goodbye, Keith. Solo. Sorry. No, I'm not feeling down on myself. You should. You're garbage. You're complete trash. Even if I'm feeling down, I get back up right away. No, you should hang up your styler and quit because you're worthless. Come on, you know me. I'm Keith. I'm always positive and upbeat, right? I don't care. I don't know you. I don't like you. I'm okay, or at least I will be okay. I'm a little embarrassed, so I'll go back to the union by myself. Yeah, you better. I don't want to put up with you. But really, I'm okay. Hey, Buizel. Weasel. Sorry, pal. I put you through a lot of worry. Weasel. Kill him. Get him. Choke him out. Solo. I can't say this properly, but thanks for saving me. I'll make up for it, I promise. Please don't. If you want to make it up to me, never speak to me ever again. I wish my champ was here so I could snap your neck seven times. Alright, I'm freaking out of here. See you later, nerds. Keith has ruined literally everything. The world is gonna die now and it's all his fault. Should have thrown him in the water when the ropes were still on so he'd drown. I wish. If only. Oh, hey, the Hippowdon has whipped up a storm again. Isn't it, Wait a minute. Is there a Staraptor over here? I think there is, isn't there? No, it's a Magneton. No, Magneton, leave me alone. Yeah, just have Gengar eat his soul. Good plan. Magnemite. If Magneton is three Magnemite fused together, Magnezone is two Magneton, what happens if two Magnezones fuse? Mega Evolution? I don't think... Oh, there is a Staraptor here. Sick. I don't think Magnezone is two Magnetons fused together. I've never heard that before. I think that's incorrect. I know that... I think you're thinking of Metagross. Because Beldum... Beldum is two Matang... Like, or... Matang is two Beldum fusing together. And then Metagross is two Matang fusing together. And Magneton is definitely three Magnemite fusing together. But I don't think two Magneton fusing together is Magnezone. I've never heard that, at least. But I might be wrong. Do I need to go back to... I think I need to go back all the way to the Union, don't I? Pretty sure.
Hopefully we have a lot of side quests to do now. Get some more power-ups, because we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. We don't have much longer to go. I see. Yes, understood. The Yellow Gym has fallen into the hands of Team Dim Sun. Fine, so it goes. We'll devise a new plan accordingly. There's no time to be feeling sorry for ourselves. Yo, but like, fire Keith, though. Like, fire him. Fire him. I'm glad that Keith is safe. That makes one of us. That's the main thing. No, it isn't. Our next operation will be crucial, but it can wait overnight. I'm sure everyone is exhausted from our hectic day. We need you at full health. Make sure you get well rested. Yeah, whatever. Still begs the question what a Magnazone Mega would be like. I'd be down for a Mega Magnazone, but didn't you hear? Megas are old news. Took them out of the game. What a great decision. I'm going to miss Mega Sceptile and his Christmas tree powers. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. I need to go trade out Piplup for someone else. Did you sleep last night? Couldn't sleep. I'm so choked up over this. Good, you should be, you garbage person. Professor Hastings, have you learned anything from the Incredible Machines blueprints? Nothing yet, I'm afraid. The data disk is password protected. It has defied our efforts to crack it. I question Isaac about it, but he's become withdrawn. Well, he needs to get over it. I do have some good news, though. Significant advances have been made in deciphering the diary. This is an entry some three years before the Shadow Crystal's discovery. X month, XX day. I spent another day pouring through old dark, uh, documents, documents in writing. I learned of the red gym, the blue gym, and the yellow gym. I learned how the Shadow Crystal fears and loathes the harmony of the gyms, and how it is also strange, and how it also strangely seeks their harmony. I now understand what I must do while I still live. It is two, and that is as far as we got. Still, it gives us hope our hypothesis was correct. The three colored gyms have an effect on the Shadow Crystal. It's clear Brighton Hall came to that same realization. Excuse me, it's Isaac. I thought things through last night. Ah, welcome back. Okay, so you gonna play Guardian Signs on stream after this? I'm not gonna do it immediately after this. After this, I'm going back to Pokemon Conquest, and then I'm either gonna finish Conquest, or, uh... I'm gonna make more progress in Conquest and then probably do Insurgents. But, uh, definitely on my... Before I do Guardian Signs, I'm gonna finish Conquest and I wanna do a Pokemon Insurgents challenge run. But Guardian Signs is on the radar, yes. I'm ashamed to realize this now. I saw, but I didn't understand anything. All I've seen of the world was through a microscope or a PC monitor. That sounds pretty good to me. But all that changed yesterday. Even though I'm supposed to be an enemy, Zven treated me like a brother. Professor Hastings shouted at me three times asking for the password, but he left me alone after that. I was given a comfortable bed and a warm breakfast, and everyone was smiling, and yeah, I don't need your life story, kid. Just tell me the password. It took me too long, but I finally realized that I was being used. I didn't want to believe it. I couldn't admit it yesterday. I was scared, too. The password is Melody. It's my little sister's name. This is the easiest password to guess of all time. How did you idiots not pull this off? Melody's in Puel Town. I wonder how she is. Again, I didn't ask for your life story. Isaac, thank you. That took courage. This could save all Mia. I, the thing that's going to save all Mia is me. Tell the researchers the password is Melody. Wait, there's no exclamation mark. It's just Melody without a period either. What? That is a little bit of fourth wall breaking. <laughs> Professor Hastings, we're ready. Very well, bring up the data on the underfoot monitor, if you will. When can you expect to see Spectrobe's Origins? After I'm done with Skyward Sword. I plan on having Spectrobe's Origins replace Skyward Sword. See you later, Clamity. Thanks for dropping in for stream, dude. Huh? The shape. I've seen the shape somewhere. This can't be. Whoever could have guessed. I'd say it might be. This is all true tower. What a shock! It's utterly horrifying. I mean, it's just a tower. All True Tower is the incredible machine, and it will be completed tomorrow. What are the odds? Yo, you're stepping all over the paragraph I'm trying to read, Diamond. Take a close look at the blueprint. See at the top of the tower, overlooking all of Almia. That object at the top, it's probably the giant shadow crystal. So, this is what it's about. Give me a moment to think. Yo, you're gonna give me an opportunity to go do side quests? Because I want to do some side quests. When the professor gets into that state, he won't emerge for a while. We call it his solitary strategy session. So, what can you do in the meantime? Why, patrol, of course. Please go out among the citizens and try to address their concerns. When you're done, please report to me, dears. That's what we're gonna do. Also, it may be a wise precaution to capture strong Pokemon. Wouldn't be surprised by anything that happened now, dears. Yo, is it actually the end of the game now? Do we just have the... I guess, yeah, we just have the last dungeon now. I did not realize that as soon as you finished the desert, it was time for the end of the game. 
I think we might actually just finish the game next stream then, to be honest. Hey, listen, Solo. Tomorrow is Ultra Inc.'s birthday bash. Have a look at this. Yeah, why not? A new and bright future for Almia. Go Rock Quads to celebrate opening. The Almia Times Volume 12. Ultra Tower opens tomorrow. A clean new energy to be announced. Yeah, the energy of darkness. The Go Rock Quads live and in person, on stage, plugged in and rocked out. Looking forward to it, but isn't that sort of wrong in these desperate times? Whoops, we're in an operation now. Back to work, Ranger. <laughs> 